Hi, this is Scott Marsh from Woody Cabinets Tips and Tricks. Today I was going to get started on the next video in the series that I'm doing on creating a master time track workbook in Excel. Now, in my intro video, if you guys haven't watched that, make sure you check it out. I asked for some feedback, and some of that feedback that I got was, isn't there a way to make an actual application, or at least make it look and feel like an actual application? Basically, like, you know, when you open up eCabinets, you've got this right here, and then you've got these toolbars where you can come in here, and then you've got another user form that comes up that allows you to do different things. Well, we can do something really close to that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a brand new workbook, okay? So if you guys downloaded this workbook, you can keep it if you want. It's entirely up to you, but I'll post a link to the new one in this video's description. Make sure you click on that link and download it so you can follow along. And I'm going to start a new workbook. So I'm going to go File and New. Okay, and a blank workbook. Okay, and I can go ahead and close my personal workbook that automatically opens up. I can come in here and I want to add some new sheets here. I want a home tab. Okay, so I'm going to double click this, sheet one, I'm going to name it home. We're not going to be working with a whole bunch of different worksheets, maybe three, four worksheets. Okay, because everything's going to be stored in this workbook and we'll create reports later on from the data from these different worksheets. I'm going to need another one for my employee list. So I'm going to name this one employees. And I need another one for uh, calculations. So I'm just going to name this time calc. Short for time calculations, and we're going to need one. Actually, we've got the employees. We're going to need one for our job categories or job descriptions. So I'm just going to name this job description. And all these are going to be job drop down lists. This employees is basically going to be a lookup list. We're going to have a column for the employee name and column for their rate of pay. And we'll be using VLOOKUP to come over here and find that employee and 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 then say, okay, well that employee makes six number dollars an hour or whatever, and we'll use that in our calculations, okay? And this time calculation worksheet is just going to store the calculations that we're using to calculate our elapsed time and all that kind of good stuff. But right here, after job description, we need a one more, and we're going to call this task, okay? And we'll be making all this, we'll be coming in and formatting all this later on. But let's go ahead and get to creating our user form. I want to go into my developer, so I'm going to click in any blank cell. I'm going to hit Alt, and then holding down my Alt key, and then I'm going to hit F11. And it brings up my Visual Basics for Application window here. And right now we're in the Properties window, so I'm just going to click on Book 1 object here all right and it brings up this blank screen and what i want to do is i want to insert a user form so right here under insert i'm going to click insert and then user form so there's my user form i need to set some properties for this so i'm going to right click i'm going to go to properties and i'm going to rename this to frm time track okay you want to give it a caption so right here under caption Right here under caption, I'm going to just name this whatever I want to name it, name it whatever you want to name it, whatever caption you want on the top of your user form up here, which is going to be up here. I'm going to say Scott's Time Tracker. Okay, so that's what's going to be on my title bar up here. And let's go back into the user form. And what we want to do is have this user form in order for it to look like an actual application. So if I maximize this right here, this window, this VBA window, you can see it takes up pretty much the whole screen. Okay, and that's what I want to have happen to this user form. So what I want to do is I want to right click and I want to go into View Code. Okay, and it brings up the Private Sub User Form Click Event. This is the click event. Now if I click this drop down right here, I can change that click event. It would be this drop down right here from click event to initialize. This is the initialize event. So whatever code we put in here is going to be executed 
when the user form is actually loaded up. So what I want to do is I want to say with me So you're starting a whip statement. Since we got a whip statement, we need to have end with. So I'm going to hit enter and I'll type end with. Now ordinarily, if, if you were not using a with statement, you would have to, let me put a space right here, you would have to type something like me dot width equals whatever, okay? But since we're using a with statement, we don't have to type me dot every time. And what this me is, is it's referring to this actual user form that we're writing this code in. Now, if we were doing something for another user form, we would have to say, for example, with form, whatever that form's name is, okay? But we don't have to do that in this case. But right here after with me, before end width, is where I want to put what I want my width to be. So I'm going to say, I got with me, I'm going to say dot width. Okay, I can hit tab and I want to say equals application dot width. So it's going to be the same width as my application window. Okay, and I need to set the height, so I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say dot height tab equals application dot height tab. So now when this user form is launched, it should be the same size as this window right here, okay? And let's see if that works. So I'm going to double click on my form, and right here is my user form. I'm going to make sure I'm inside my clip. My user form is selected here. I'm going to click and run. And you can see there it is. That's exactly what we want. So what we need to do now is add a button to our home tab. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of this. I'm going to go to my home tab and I want to put a button in here. So I'm going to go to insert and shapes. If I can find it. Right here, shapes. Okay, I'm going to click on a shape and you can see right here that I've got, um, I want to make sure that I've got snap the grid turned on and it is. And it's going to snap to the grid for me. I type get started in there. So, so that looks good. Now we need to program this button. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to assign macro and click on new. Okay and this brings up our rectangle one click event here. Okay so what I want to do between sub and in sub is I'm going to type my user form name. Now my user form name is form contract without any spaces. I'll say dot show. Okay hit tab and when I click that button, it's going to bring up the user form, unless I have messed something up. So let's see how that works. Run the shoe down. Okay, click on this, and there it is. So I'm going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, I do want to talk about what we're going to be doing on the next video. So let me go back in here to our user form. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a toolbar up here using a frame control and we're going to be adding some buttons in here and whatnot. We're also going to be working with something new or something that is new to me anyhow and that is public variables. So that's pretty interesting and like I said if you want to follow along with me on this workbook or this uh, application if you will developing it make sure you Click on the bit on the link in this video's description, download this workbook, and then on the next video we'll be starting off right where we left off right here. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, how about give me a thumbs up? And hey, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. Until the next time, you guys have a good day.